Well, hey YouTube, I'm Paul. Welcome to the channel. I want to say a special welcome. I've got some new subs that have been following along, so I want to say welcome to you guys. It's been a while since I've done kind of a vloggy kind of a video. I always like to mix in a little coin roll hunting or something to go along with it. Alright, because there are so many new people, what I'm doing here basically, like Laura always says, is going through just bank rolls that you get from the bank and looking for silver coins in them. You don't get them too often, but they are out there. And guys are hitting them all the time. And we hit them sometimes too, so just look at a draw. But basically, it's just a little prop. So, gives me something to do while I'm talking. But, uh, so I got a question to ask you guys. Because I always like to keep you posted on what's going on. Oh yeah, and for the new people, base, uh, I keep saying basically. Uh, it's got me addicted to say basically, basically, basically. Sorry about that. I'm working on it. You can look at the edge of the coins. And the silver ones are all pure there's no brown from the copper in them yeah but sometimes you will be fooled by the Canadian ones so just so you know that's what I'm doing and anybody can do it and it is it's enjoyable especially in the winter time when you can't go out and mal detect and this and that it gives you a chance to find some silver which obviously is worth quite a bit more than just a plain darn so okay with that out of the way I want to ask you guys a question most of you know we live on the lake here, and I think we are the only family currently on the lake that doesn't have a boat right at the present time. And we've had tons of boats. I've had plenty of bad boats. Let's see, I got one that could be. It's probably a Canadian. Let's see what it is. It is. It's Canadian. So that means no good. 68. I think some of the 68s were silver, so I'm going to set that one aside. I think you could use a magnet to test it. <clears throat> so it's a possible. But I could be wrong. i got to check the dates. I'm not that up on the Canadian ones. Uh, so, yeah. Ben, as you know, my son, has been pestering for a boat, obviously, since the beginning of summer. And... Hey, let's face it, boats are fun, but they're also a pain in the butt. Uh, the only good boat I ever, well, I've had some decent used boats, but the best one I bought a Checkmate a long time ago when I was young, not married, and actually had money then. Uh, I bought a new Checkmate, and that lasted me for many, many, many years. It never had a problem, sold it. Shouldn't have never sold it. Regret it now. But anyway. Now I've had plenty of lemons like buying used boats. Cheap used boats. You know. And so far I'm scoring nothing on the coins. I guess my question to you guys is what do you think? You know. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on it. So if it is a lemon I'm not out a whole bunch. And it's probably the wrong philosophy. But it's the only thing I can do at this point. I don't want to uh, be making payments. And this is a dirty one. This looks like this could have been one of mine that I dug. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's not going to be a, a great boat, but it'd be fine, you know, to do a little um, tubing behind and stuff like that. So, should I take the plunge, you know, take a chance, get back into the use boat water so to speak or just um just tough it out another year maybe so guys uh let me know what you think in Thanks the comments for stopping by and i'll be watching your videos when i can see ya